Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Wednesday, so you know we're, we're winging, winging it. it. <laughs> <laughs> this week we're talking about RVing during the holidays, then and now. That's the topic of this week's Winging It. Okay, before we get started, you know the rules of winging it, but let's have a quick refresher. You set the timer on my phone for 10 minutes. We talk about the topic. When the timer goes off, we wrap things up. This is totally unedited, unscripted, and you get, get what, what you, you get. get. <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes on the clock. We're winging it. Let's talk about then. Wait, first of all, why are we talking about <laughs> RVing during the holidays uh, when we are in October. Well, it's because things book up very quickly That's during the sure. holiday, campground wise. So if you haven't already made plans and you are planning to travel during the holidays with your RV, you need to get on it. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> and the holidays is a time that we, back when we were in our sticks and bricks, we love to go RVing. Um, our, our tradition back in the day, we always had Thanksgiving. Our families did it together, actually. Mm -hmm. But my, my family had a big Thanksgiving every year with a lot of people. My parents did it for about 50 years. Yep. And and uh, so we weren't going to miss that. We always did that. But we, we always scheduled like on Friday after Thanksgiving and boom. We normally went to a state park. That's, that's what we enjoyed doing over Thanksgiving. Yeah, and it was amazing to see the parks were always packed. Oh, right? yeah. And the weekend after it's Thanksgiving. And, and a lot of the folks that were there were multi-generational families who that's what they did for Thanksgiving. They didn't they didn't all meet at somebody's house. They would all get together at a campground somewhere and have Thanksgiving yeah, outdoors. They, they made their turkeys right out there in the campground. So it was really pretty cool and get to meet some of those folks was really neat. I I always enjoy and of course the holidays, when we're talking about the holidays, we're talking about everything from right before Thanksgiving through the new year, right right through the first of the year, and all that is pretty much holidays, and all that is pretty much perfect RVing weather in Texas. Uh, yeah. I mean, campfires, cooking over the campfire, cooking outside, I mean, all we, you can do all that stuff. And a lot of times, normally, <laughs> during that time, you have a lot of events going on that are really, really fun. Oh, yeah. One of our favorites that we did uh, several years ago, it's usually the first weekend in December, down in Goliad, Texas, is called Christmas in Goliad. And it's held in the town square of Goliad, which is a great little town. Yes, it is. And very historical. And it's just a couple miles from Goliad State Park. So. Yeah, literally. I mean, that's one of the state parks in Texas that's right next to the town. I mean, yes. and that gives it a neat charm, too. It's totally different. It's like the state park is part of the town. It is really, really neat. And what I understand is right now, Christmas in Goliad 2020 is on. Oh, wow. So that's super exciting. That, and that's what you said, the first weekend? First weekend in December. Yeah. And in the town square, when we went, they had a lighted Christmas parade one night. They had uh, a market where folks brought in handmade everything you can imagine yes. uh, for a Christmas market all around the town square. Uh, just a fantastic time. Well, in the state park, too. They have a replica mission mm -hmm. in the state park that's awesome. And they project up, I guess it's like silhouettes or something, mm -hmm. onto the wall of the history of the area. And it's, I mean, it is really, really cool. As well as they have a, a choir mm -hmm. that comes and sings a, a Christmas program within uh, the mission, it inside and I mean, it's free, Yeah. and it was really, really cool. The only thing, the year we went, it was 
pouring down rain when we got there. That was crazy. But inside, it was nice and cozy. The acoustics are amazing. Oh, they are amazing. I don't know if they're doing that this year, but check out Christmas in Goliath yeah. um, as a just tons of fun. Oh, for sure. Another fun thing that we like to do during the holidays is in Galveston. It's called Dickens on the Strand. Yes. And it's a, you know, typical Dickens festival uh, based on, you know, Charles Dickens novels. And uh, always a ton of fun. Also the first weekend in December normally. And I hear they're having that this year also. That's awesome. And we plan on going again. And, and if we make it there, That'll be our third one in a row. Yeah. And so, I mean, anything you're going to do three years in a row, it must be fun. And I'm telling <laughs> you, it's fun. Last year we got to do it with some of our best friends, some of our full-time yes. RVing friends that we're looking forward to seeing here real soon. Hey, guys. Hey guys. <laughs> um, and uh, they'll be going with us as well. So, yes, if you get a chance, that's a fun, fun event. Now, one point I would like to make here is not only do you need to plan ahead because there are more people RVing now. Yes. A lot more folks have gotten into the lifestyle and are enjoying it. And if you're new to the lifestyle and you're just finding us, welcome. Hit that subscribe button yeah. <laughs> and the bell for the notifications. Yeah. But so you do need to plan ahead. But you also need to check ahead to see if those things that normally go on that you look forward to, if they're really going to happen this year. Yeah, because we know that a lot of stuff is being canceled. And one of the biggest ones, one that's on our bucket list, uh, is the uh, par the boat parade in San Antonio, oh, downtown yeah. San Antonio. On at, the, at the river walk. On the river walk. Mm -hmm. It's an incredible light display and everything. Um, they have canceled that event. I saw that on TV years ago, and ever since then, I've wanted to go oh, see it We will person. do it. Absolutely. We, we will do it. Um, so, but And there are a lot of events that normally happen that normally are tons of fun that aren't happening this year. But there are also events that are happening. I understand that Grapevine, Texas, which they call the Christmas capital of Texas, is still yep. having a lot of events, for example. And the other thing is you can't assume. Because even if there are a lot more people that are enjoying the lifestyle now, they may not be traveling during the holidays. Yeah, that's true. I mean, a lot of people uh, won't travel this year that typically do travel. Right. So there may be some things open that you wouldn't expect. But check now yeah. and plan ahead. And if there's a place that you really are looking forward to mm -hmm. going, you need to go ahead and make your reservation. Be on the safe side so you get you make sure you got your spot. Then if you get there and whatever you really wanted to see or do doesn't end up happening because let's face it that happens right now all the time things are changing daily you can still have fun oh yeah don't let some events being canceled stop you from RVing let let's remember the best thing you know a bad day of camping still beats a good day at the sticks and bricks I mean that's what we always used to say and still is I mean we love camping when we get into the state parks and stuff Go as a family, you're still going to have a great time. I mean, you may not be able to do that that one Christmas event or whatever, um, but you can still have a blast. I guarantee it. Now, let's talk about decorating. We were the Griswolds <laughs> when we had our sticks and bricks house. We were. <laughs> our, and our old neighbors can attest I'm to that one. I'm pretty sure you could see our house from space. <laughs> yeah, we decorated from one side of our yard all the way to the other, all the way up on the house with lights. Yeah, we pretty much covered the gamut, and we've had to scale that down. <laughs> but we do still carry some small Christmas decorations. If you saw some of our videos from the season last year, you might have seen some of those. Um, so we do still enjoy decorating on a much oh, yeah. smaller scale. And to us, that's part of the fun. If you're in an RV park or a campground where other folks have decorated their campsites, it's super fun just to walk around or ride your bike around and see some of those decorations. Oh, yeah. Well, on my bucket list is to go to Disney World during the holidays. Now, and when I say Disney World, uh, Fort Wilderness, Fort Wilderness campground. campground, because... A lot of people go every year and they decorate their campsites 
And I mean, I'm sure people will still do it this year, even though we know that, you know, Disney World is totally different right now. Um, but I mean, I hope in the future that I get to do that. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> we got to do that. <laughs> and I bet Grammy wants to go with us. Yeah, I, I, she's probably talking through to the TV right now. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Grammy did buy us a new calendar, by the way, yeah. so we can start planning for our 2021. We're mm. super excited and looking forward to that. But I would love to know mm. how you're planning to spend your holidays this year. Are you camping? What are your plans? What are you most looking forward to? What might be different for you this year? Yeah, or what what has been your holiday tradition on camping? I mean, what's your spot that you love to go to or Ooh. event that you love to go to, whether it's happening or not? We would love to know about some of your favorite holiday events because we'd love to add them to our schedule for future years. Yeah, you know, one of the best things about doing this YouTube channel is you guys Absolutely. that give us great ideas. You don't know, we put more things on our, not calendar, but your Google Maps, yes. you know, of where we're going to go in the future because y'all suggest them. And believe me, we love hearing from you guys because you're helping us out, believe me. Absolutely. So please give us some more ideas yeah. and some things that we can see in the future. We look forward to that. We'll see you on Sunday. Safe travels. And happy camping. And keep on winging it. <laughs> Bye. Bye.